A stichoran Greek, stichoran, said in verses. Plural, stichera, Greek, stichera is a hymn of a particular genre that has to be sung during the morning orthros and evening service hesperinos of the Orthodox Church and those Eastern Catholic churches which follow the Byzantine rite. Stichera are usually sung in alternation with or immediately after psalm or other scriptural verses. These verses are known as stichoi sing, stichos, but stichereric poetry usually follows the hexameter and is collected in an own book called Stichererian Greek. Stichurian. A stichurarian is a book containing the stichura for the morning and evening services throughout the year, but chant compositions in the stichuraric mellows can also found in other liturgical books like the Octoechos or the Anastasimetarian, or in the Anthology for the Divine Liturgy. The stichuraric mellows and the troparian In the current traditions of Orthodox chant, the Stichurarian as a hymn book was also used to call a chant genre Stichuraric Mellows, which is defined by its tempo and its melodic formulas according to the eight modes of the Octoechos. Although the hymns of the Stichurarian have to be sung in the same mellows, there is no direct relation with the poetic hymn genre, because its musical definition rather follows the practice of psalmody. Today the Stichuraric Mellows as opposed to the Troparic Mellows are two different cycles of the Octoechos. In the past they had been closer related by the practice of psalmody, and a troparian which is nothing else than a refrain sung with psalmody, might become a more elaborated chant from a musical point of view, so that it is sung thrice without the psalm verses, but with the small doxology. The troparian in its melodic form tends to move towards the stichuraric or even papodic mellows, and this way, it becomes an own chant genre by itself. The Stichuran and its musical settings Christian Trollsgaard described the Stichuran quite similar to the Troparian and regarded the Stichuran as a subcategory, only that a Stichuran as an intercalation of psalmody, has been longer as a poem than a Troparian, thus it had been chanted without repetitions of its text, but in sections. There had been a lot of Stichura, but the book Stichurarian was a rather dislocated collection of Stichura from different local traditions and their singer poets. It was obviously not used on a pulpit during celebrations, but rather an exercise book with various examples which could be studied for own compositions with similar accentuation patterns. Concerning this paradigmatic use of notation, the musical setting of a Stichuran, the Stichurarian had been mainly a collection of idiomela which had to be understood as individual compositions for a certain Stichuran poem, although the melodic patterns could be rather classified according to one of the eight or ten modes echoes or glass of the Hagiopolitan Octoechos. The reference to it is given by the modal signatures, especially the medial signatures written within notation, so the book Stichurarian constituted the synthetic role of its notation Byzantine round notation, which integrated signs taken from different chant books during the 13th century, but there was as well the practice of using certain Stichura as models to compose other poems prosimoya, similar to the Ermos. This classification became even more complex by the translation of the hymn books into Slavonic, which forced the canonarches, responsible for the preparation of the services, to adapt the music of a certain avtomelon to the translated prosimoya and the prosody of the Slavonic language. In certain cases, the adaptation needed a musical recomposition of the prosumwaan. In practice, the atomella as well as the prosomea are often omitted in the books of the Stichurarian, they rather belong to an oral tradition, since the atomella were known by heart. Often the prosimoya had been written apart before the octoechos part of Stichurarian, which was usually not organized according to the eight modes unlike the great octoechos, since John Kokosalis and other contemporary scribes who revised the Stichuraria, there was development from the traditional Stichuran, sung by a whole congregation or community, to a rather representative and elaborated performance by a soloist. Manuel Chrysafis regarded John Kokosalis as the inventor of the embellished Stichuran. Stichuran Califonican, but he emphasized that he always followed step by step the model, as it has been written down in Stichurarian. Especially in the Califonic genre, a systematic collection of compositions by Constantinopolitan maestors, made after the Menion of Stichurarian, could already grow, as one part of the Stichurarian Califonican see also GBLBL Ms. Ad, 28821, to a volume about 1900 pages, an expansion in chant which could be hardly performed during celebrations of any cathedral of the empire. Topic. 
History of the notated chant book Stitcherarian During the reform of the 17th century the book Stitcherarian had been replaced by the Doxterian, called after the main genre of the former book, the Doxticon, the Stitcherin which was introduced by both or one of the two Stitchoi of Doxa Patri, but it followed the same compositions written down in the old Stitcherarian. During the 18th century the repertoire was created which had been printed as Doxterian since 1820. It was based on transcriptions of the hyphos, short versions created by the generation of Joannes Trapezuntios and Daniel the Protosalts who had recomposed the traditional melodies. The hyphos was supposed to abridge the traditional mellows in the school of Manuel Chrysaphes, as it had been delivered by 17th-century composers like Panagotes the New Chrysaphes and Germanos of New Patras. They had grown very long, obviously under influence of the Caliphonic method to do the thesis of the Stichereric mellows, but also by a hybridization of the great signs during the traditional thesis of the Stichereric mellows. Between the 1820 and 1841, the abridged Doxterian had been published in three versions, the Doxterian Sintamon of Petros Peloponnesios 1820, the Doxterian Argon of Iakovos the Protoposalts 1836, and the Doxterian Argosintamon of Constantinos the Protosalts 1841. The medieval Stitcherarian had been divided into four books, which also existed as separated books of their own, the Menion, the Pentecostarian, the Triodion, and the Octoechos. These books of the Stitcherarian were created during the Studite reform between the 9th and the 10th centuries, its repertoire was completed until the 11th century, but until the 14th century the whole repertoire had been reduced among scribes who changed and unified the numerous redactions. The 10th century reform already defined the Gospel lectures and the Doxtica connected with them. The oldest copies can be dated back to the 10th and 11th centuries, and like the Ermologian the Stitcherarian was the one of the first hymn books, which was entirely provided with musical notation Paleo -Byzantine nooms. But the complete form still appeared in the time of the 14th century reform, which had been notated in Middle Byzantine nooms. The genre Stitcherin already existed since centuries, it can be traced back to Tropologia written during the 6th century, but the repertoire as it can be reconstructed by Georgian Iadgari Tropologian seems to be different from the Byzantine redaction, which was based on the Tropologian of Antioch and later expanded by the hymnographers of Mar Saba. Jerusalem. The book Tropologian was still used until the 12th century and it also contains the canons of the Ermologian. Originally the Ermologian and Stitcherarian were created as notated chant books during the 10th century. The parts and cycles of the book Stitcherarian The Stichera idiomela are commonly written in two liturgical year cycles, the immobile one or sanctoral, and the mobile one between Great Lent and Pentecost. Usually this collection of idiomela consists of three books, the Menion for the immobile cycle and two books called Triodion and Pentecostarian for the mobile cycle. Menion, Book of the Months, contains all hymns of the immobile monthly cycle beginning with September and ending with August. These are hymns dedicated to particular saints commemorated according to the calendar day of the year. Triodion contains hymns chanted during Great Lent, beginning with the Sunday of Pharisee and the publican ten weeks before Easter and ending with the Holy Week preceding Easter or with Palm Sunday. It has a huge collection of Stichera prosimoia as well. Pentecostarian contains hymns chanted during the Paschal season, beginning with the Hesperinos of the Resurrection Feast or Monday of the Holy Week until All Saints Sunday, which follows the Sunday of Pentecost. The Old Stitcherarian had even a fourth book which contained the hymns of a third regularly repeated cycle. It was usually the abridged form which only contained the hymns of Saturday Hesperinos preceding the Orthros and Divine Liturgy on Sunday. In most of the Orthodox rites the Octoechos meant a cycle of eight weeks which opened with the four Kyrioi Echoi each echoes per week and continued with the Plagioi Echoi. Sometimes the Stitcherarian also had a separated collection of notated Stichera prosimoia preceding the book Octoechos, while the Octoechos contained the best-known hymns called Stichera Abdomella which also served as model for the prosimoia. Originally many of them were even notated quite late, since the singers knew them by heart. The early form was quite short and not yet divided into eight parts according to the eight echoi of the weekly cycle. Octoechos contains either the hymns for each Saturday or those for each day of the week great Octoechos, set to the eight echoi. 
Using one echoes or glass for each week, the entire cycle takes eight weeks to complete. This part of the Sticherarian became soon an own book. In certain traditions, this separated book also included the odes of the canon, the hymns of the book Ermologen. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cycles of the book Octoechos. Examples of different liturgical contexts where stichera are commonly used include Hesperinos, the evening office of the canonical hours. Vesper Psalm Kyrie Ekikroxa, Gospody Vos Vakata, Lord, I have cried. Ps. 140. 1. The Liti, procession on Sundays and feast days. The Aposticha, Orthros, the morning office. The Praises on Sundays and feast days. The Aposticha on simple weekdays. Topic: <laughs> Types of Stichera. A stitcherin that follows the words, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, is called a doxistichon. A stitcherin that is dedicated to the Theotokos is called stitcherin dogmaticon, or Theotokion. Theotokia normally follow the last words of the small doxology, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Those theotokia that come by the end of Kyrie Ekikroxa or Gospody, Vos Vakate, Lord, I have cried, Ps 140.1 during Vespers on Saturday night, Friday night and the eves of most feast days are called dogmatica, because their texts deal with the dogma of the Incarnation. The aposticha are a type of stichera which differ from the norm with respect, that they precede their stichos psalm verse rather than they follow it. See also Aposticha Avtomelon, Prosimoya Debates about the Sticheraric Melos Doxtacon Hagiopolitan Octoechos Matins Gospel Menion Octoechos Mega Pentecostarian Triodion Troparion <laughs>